Last week, I posted a video where I was hooking up electricity and water outside of the house to wash the car. Yeah, that went pretty good, except when I gave myself an electric shock twice, if you noticed in the video. But that thing that most surprised me about that video was the comments because I just mentioned at the almost the end of the video that I was going to be doing a little bit of outside work for the summer and that is and mainly it was to redo the concrete and the plaster which is on the outside of the foyer just to get it watertight and what people mostly commented about was what am I going to do with the garden? And I answered a couple of them, or most of them, with that I was thinking about just trying to keep it simple because basically Iceland is mo mostly an Arctic tundra, or at least this p place of Iceland, where it's mostly grass and moss that grows here. But of course, there is more flora and fauna, but yeah, I'm not a botanist or a biologist or anything like that so take that with a touch of salt please do but i definitely want to explain what my idea about the garden is so i'm gonna do that but i want to preface it a little bit because it's going to be simple and it's going to be functional so have that in mind when i'm telling you how it's going to be because I only have to walk a couple of minutes outside of town and I can do it just with a walk with Hugo and I'm outside in nature. So it's real simple for me to just get out into nature. And here's an example where I just took Hugo for a walk. Before I continue with this video, it, could you hit the like and subscribe button? It really helps. It lets YouTube know that I'm doing a pretty good job and might recommend me to more people, which would be really cool. And as you can see, the nature is awesome here around. And all those mountains and everything, it's, it's a paradise for those who love to hike and which I definitely need to do more of and get Huko with me because if there's anybody who loves it more than me, it's definitely him. But the first part of what I'm going to be using the land around the house, the garden, is actually setting up a double wide garage behind the house. It's the least, it's the place that gets the least sun because the sun mainly is in front of the house and very little in the back of the house, but the house is located so, what can I say, very up top on the land. So might have made a little bit more sense if it was a little bit more back, but maybe there you were thinking of using the land for a garage when they built it in 1936. Doubt it, but yeah. My idea is to have a double wide garage. And if you're thinking by yourself, what does a single man with a dog need a double wide garage for? And you're right. But I have an excuse or reason. Yeah, let's call it a reason for doing it. And it's one side is of course going to be the car because I definitely want to get rid of having to scrape snow and ice and l almost literally shovel it off the, the car every time I want to take the car out during the winter time. 
I think I'll actually save a couple of hours of my life which I can use for nothing else. Just kidding, there's always stuff to do here. And so I definitely want to do that, have the car on one side, but on the other side, I want to set up a workshop where I can do carpentry work. And I want to put up a proper workshop, carpenter workshop, so I can build, yeah, furniture and basically have it as a hobby for myself where I can both do my hobby and practice because practice makes perfect and I definitely need practice. The garage isn't the only thing that I want to do and to use the sun as best as I can without making this literally a dead spot which it kind of is now is by putting a flower bed along the side of the house which should get sun most of the time over the summer or if not all of the summer and even into the fall because there's nothing that blocks it except for maybe the mountain in front of the house and I want to do it so there's a flower bed mostly with flora from Iceland and I actually have a poster that I found on the internet of the Icelandic flora. Cool poster. I might actually order it later on just to have it as a decoration in the house. And for me to learn more about the Icelandic flora and fauna. But I definitely want to put a flower bed there. Also just for life. And having something beautiful around here because of course you need something beautiful so that is my big idea for number two first garage then the flower bed and number three is what i've already mentioned before and that is i want to put a big deck in front of the house and a deck which is fenced all sides so i actually can get cover from wind and enjoy it further into the autumn when the winds get real cold here and with wind chill it goes down to like minus 20 degrees celsius i don't know exactly what that is in fahrenheit i'll just write it down here and yeah that is the idea of putting up a big deck here which is fenced but you're probably thinking by yourself, he's going to ruin the view. And I think I have a solution for that. And that is actually having windows outside. And that is, I want to build up the deck, have it just in the front, have it one meter high, which is around about three feet tall. That is wood. And above that, plexiglass windows. So I get the view but I also get the cover from the wind and I think that would be a fantastic idea and I, ha I have to remind myself how awesome it is to live here sometimes when especially when I'm talking about enjoying the nature around but also the town and here's actually a small drone video which I took of the town Somebody said the view is majestic, but I definitely would like to say the view is majestic, but the town itself is fairytale-like because there are so many pretty buildings here around, which you could possibly have seen when I was doing the walk around, when I was showing you the painting of the birds all over town. But yeah, I think it's pretty cool. 
I was thinking of having this a little bit short video, just giving you a little heads up, what giving you an idea of what my land garden would be like when I'm finished. But what do you think? Please give me feedback in the comments because I love getting feedback. I, if it's negative, it's negative. But if it's positive, it's positive. So yeah, hook me up in the comments. And yeah, let me know what you think. And remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you next week.